Darth Ramaj's apprentice was a galaxy-wide renowned male Bith, artisanal starship designer and scientific genius, and under the continued tutelage of Darth Ramaj, came to lead a double life divided between his public persona as Rugis Gnome, famous ship craftsman, and Darth Tenebris, dark lord of the reformed order of Sith. Tenebris killed his master, Darth Ramaj, when he lost interest in Ramaj's more esoteric views of the dark side, and quickly sought out a new apprentice following murdering his master. Seeing the potential for them to bear a strongly force-sensitive offspring, as Gnome, Darth Tenebris arranged the meeting of intergalactic banking clan middle-ranking agent Car Damask with his future wife, and five years following their eventual conception, Tenebris came to collect his prize from them. Tenebris apprenticed Darth Plagueis, the moon heir of Damask Holdings named Higo Damask, from a youngling on Megiddo. Plagueis, fulfilling the rule of two, would eventually murder Tenebris in the caves of planet Baldemnek and leave his soul to rot there in obscurity for eternity. In defiance of the rule of two, while raising Higo Damask into Darth Plagueis as his only Sith apprentice on the one hand, on the other hand, Tenebris had been training another pupil, a Bith some believed was his son, whom had taken on the title of Darth Venomous, following Plagueis' slaying of Tenebris, and declared himself the rightful heir to Tenebris' Sith lineage. Venomous confronted Plagueis on Sojourn, a manufactured and privately owned moon used by Plagueis and other moons of the intergalactic banking clan as a private vacation retreat. Plagueis bested Venomous in a duel and forced him to ingest coma bloom, a poisonous flower, and, for the next twenty-five years, a quarter of a century, Plagueis conducted abominable experiments on Venomous's body until finally, around the year 42 BBY, Plagueis allowed Venomous to die at last. Darth Plagueis was then undisputed as sole heir of the grand plan of the ancient Sith's direct dynastic lineage. In two years following his slaying of his Bith master Darth Tenebris and his Bith co-apprentice Darth Venomous, he was able to discover a bright young potential for apprenticeship in the ways of the reformed order. The son of a political rival to Plagueis' business interests as Damask on Naboo, Cosigna Palpatine, was so eager to learn from the moon Damask about his ways of the Sith as Darth Plagueis, that he pestered Damask for months, finally working himself up into such a frenzy of devotion he murdered his own entire family while they were all on board the family starship, the Jaffan Three, in hyperspace, and, begging Damask for help, virtually ingratiated his own way into the Dark Lord Sith traditions. Darth Plagueis apprenticed Palpatine under the title Darth Sidious, during a tumultuous time in galactic political activity, and yet managed to navigate his protege into the position of being appointed the Galactic Supreme Chancellor in only a matter of a few decades. Unfortunately for Damask, he would not live to see the event itself, as his apprentice betrayed and murdered Darth Plagueis, the wise Dark Lord of the Sith the night before being sworn in as Grand Chancellor. Declaring himself the Sith Ari, 
as he gloated over his master's fresh corpse. Darth Sidious realized he was now free of Darth Plagueis' guidance, but also his domination, and thus felt liberated to take countless liberties in applying the strict rule of two of the Reformed Order. He believed he had achieved the revenge of the Sith in being the first Sith ever appointed Supreme Chancellor over the entire Galactic Republic through purely democratic processes. However, his full vision for the collapse of this system was only culminated later, under his third apprentice, with the execution of Order 66, the Jedi Purge, and the reformation of the millennia old Galactic Republic into the first galactic empire under his own technocratic plutocracy the imperial new order the first of darth sidious's apprentices prior to his being appointed grand chancellor of the entire galactic republic was the male dathomirian zabrak knight brother darth maul Maul had come into Sidious's hands mysteriously as an infant when, while Sidious was on Dathomir, by a member of the Night Sisters' cult, he was handed over. Although Maul performed many successful covert assassinations for Sidious during Palpatine's rising political career, assisting him along the way by quietly exterminating the voices of dissent, his final task assigned to him by Sidious was to reveal the return of the Sith to the Jedi. Unfortunately, in doing so, he was cut in half by then Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Ben Kenobi in 32 BBY. Maul was assumed dead for many years until he reappeared during the ensuing Clone Wars between Palpatine and his second apprentice Darth Tyrannus. Maul had aligned himself with his fellow Dathomir Zabrak knight brother, Savage Opress, and sought blind vengeance against Kenobi. The second of Darth Sidious's apprentices, taken on following the assumed demise of Darth Maul in 32 BBY, was an aged Jedi master and Count of Sorino named Dooku whom renounced his allegiance to the Jedi Order, becoming the final of the so-called Lost Twenty, Jedi of note, to have left the Order. For a brief while, it was uncertain where Dooku's alliance stood, but he quickly removed all doubt by forming the Confederacy of Independent Systems and leading a large secessionist movement of star systems leaving the Galactic Republic to join his side of a widening conflict, pitting the CIS droid armies against the clone troopers of Kamino that had been, ostensibly in secret, bred to serve the Republic as soldiers. Dooku, too, however, was leading a double life, on the one hand as the leader of the separatist movement Count Dooku, fallen Jedi, and on the other hand as Darth Tyrannus, loyal to Darth Sidious, whose public role was as Dooku's nemesis, Grand Chancellor of the Galactic Republic Palpatine himself. Tyrannus and Sidious successfully weakened the resolve of the Republic from within by pitting droids against clones, and playing both sides against the middle. In the middle of this Clone Wars conflict was a very Force-sensitive ace pilot and Jedi Guardian Knight, whom many had hailed the apparently midichlorian-induced birth of as heralding him as the Jedi Chosen One, according to an obscure Jedi prophecy. His name was Anakin Skywalker, and he would, after slaying Count Dooku, Dark Lord Tyrannus, on the deck of the Malevolence, 
the flagship of this CIS fleet during their surprise attack on Coruscant and capture of Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, eventually turn to the dark side as well and become Darth Sidious's third and most successful apprentice, Darth Vader. Sidious used Vader to pigeonhole all his enemies among the Separatists and Jedi alike into a single sting operation now recalled as Order 66, which also pit the genetically pre-programmed clone troopers against their former Jedi generals. The tables turned against the Sith's new Order Galactic Empire suddenly, when, in 4 ABY, in the partially completed second Death Star space station, Sith Dark Lord Darth Vader suddenly betrayed his Dark Master Darth Sidious, Emperor Palpatine, and threw his body down a reactor shaft. Between the execution of Order 66 in 19 BBY and the destruction of the second Death Star in the Battle of Endor in 4 ABY, only some 23 years passed, but these 23 years saw the birth and growth and development of Darth Vader's twin children, Luke Skywalker and Leia Organa, and their rebel alliance against the New Order, Sith Galactic Empire. At the beginning of these 23 years, there remained only a handful of Jedi to survive the purge of Order 66. Following the end of these 23 years, the Darth lineage of Dark Lords of the Sith was broken, and no further claimants as heir to either it or Palpatine's empire withstood the new hope promised by the Rebel Alliance. Admiral Thrawn, in command of the remaining Imperial naval fleet, and self-proclaiming Dark Lady of the Sith, former Emperor's Hand, Lumaya, were the only remnants of the old Imperial Order under the now and rightly dreaded Palpatine.